March 26, 2021 will be a day in that NFL historians, people at What If NFL, are going to look back on for years to come. Because today is going to pan out pretty much a wide space of landscape of the NFL. Teams moving up the draft board, down the draft board, up the draft board. Team getting way too much to move up to a pick. Teams getting finesse. We're going to talk about all here. I'm sure you already know. The Eagles, Dolphins, and 49ers were all involved in a crazy, massive trade. So let's get into it. The Eagles, they get number 12 overall, 123rd overall pick, a 2022 first round pick. That's great. We'll talk about them in a second. 49ers with number three overall pick. Talk about them in a second. Dolphins, we're not going to talk about them in this video. I'm going to have a whole separate video because there's a lot to cover with the Miami Dolphins. All, they just deserve their own separate video. But they get the number six overall pick in 2021, a third in 2022, and a 2023 first. And a, yes, two first round picks. So, 49ers traded a lot to move up to number three. They are getting, they are moving off of Jimmy G. There is no way you are drafting up that high there's no way you're drafting up that high to get a left tackle, to get a wide receiver, to get a corner. There is no generational type defensive player, I feel, in this draft like there was last year in Chase Young. I can 100% get moving up to that spot for a Chase Young because he's a generational type talent. But with this, yeah, I don't know. They, they're have, they have to be trading up for a quarterback. Outside, sh look, I love Zach Wilson if he falls. Perfect fit. I think Trey Lance would be good. He could sit a year, learn the system, because they know that's what he is. He's going to be like a, a Jordan Love type. I think he's way better than Jordan Love. Don't get me wrong, like already. But he just needs another year to learn the game of football. Learn the NFL. I feel like every rookie quarterback does. But Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, I think for, and Justin Fields, I think they're most ready. I think Trey Lance is better than Justin Fields, but I think Justin Fields is more experienced. So that's probably why you would rank him higher than him. But I just like Trey Lance a lot. But I'm going to throw something out there. Mac Jones to the San Francisco 49ers. Why not? Why wouldn't he? Steve Skarkeven's offense flourished. Receiver, Brandon Ayuk. Uh, defense, going to be great next year. He can learn this Kyle Shanahan offense, and Kyle Shanahan is a great offensive-minded coach. If he can learn this, look what he did with Matt Ryan. He turned Matt Ryan to an MVP in 2016. That is what he did, okay? He turned Matt Ryan into an MVP-type player. The MVP of 2016 led them to a Super Bowl. He let, he, When Jimmy Garoppolo was out there playing with Kyle Shanahan, Garoppolo was great, okay? Jimmy Garoppolo can win. He just is never healthy. So how can you play in your future around somebody who is never, ever, ever healthy? Matt Jones can sit a year. If, if Jimmy Garoppolo gets injured by week seven, which he tends to do, which I hate, I hate injuries, the worst thing ever into a player, then he's boom, seven weeks of experience, he learns the playbook. People love Mac Jones' leadership, people love how he can learn playbooks like that, so I think Mac Jones could be a great fit, a sleeper pick right there. So does Mac Jones deserve to go number three overall? No, but with the right system and the right coaching, with the right place, any quarterback can go there and boom, bang, pop off. I think Mac Jones has a very good shot at going number three overall to the San Francisco 49ers. I would love it. Kyle Shanahan, his offense, turn Mac Ryan to an MVP. Mac Jones can do that. Look what he saw with Steve Sarkeesian's offense. He almost was the Heisman. Beautiful. Love it. So, yes, Mac Jones, watch out for him going at number three. Work in the right system. Any player can work in the right system. You get Mac Jones in that system. I think that's very good. And is he much different than Jimmy Garoppolo? Let's be honest. Is he? Who would you most likely compare Mac Jones to in the NFL? Jimmy Garoppolo. Maybe Jones has a little better arm. But he... I think that's a good comparison between Mac Jones and Jimmy Garoppolo. So, yes, I think Mac Jones going to number three, outside shot. Chris Sims even saying it. I was thinking it before he was. I just didn't get to put the tweet out before he did. Follow my Twitter link in bio. So, yes, watch out for Mac Jones in there. Moving on to the Eagles now. The Eagles are picking at number 12 overall. They were picking at number six. The Dolphins now have number six. So, what the Dolphins did, Dolphins finesse the 49ers 
They got two extra first round picks and now they're picking out number 12. Again, video for another day. But seeing that, let's get to a video schedule real quick. We're going to segue a little bit into this. Video schedule today, talking about the monster trade. Tomorrow, mock draft full round one. Mon Monday or Sunday, probably Monday, Dolphins video. Because I am on spring break, so that's what's going to happen. But let's talk about the Eagles now. Eagles, they can still get a top wide receiver or top corner. Caleb Barley, people got this injury concerns with them. Look, injuries... There are a lot of players with injury concerns coming out of college that work in the NFL, okay? So let's not act like injuries in the NFL or in college means you're going to get hurt a lot in the NFL. I don't think it's going to – that just doesn't – that doesn't seem right to me. Uh, you, you get hurt in college, but we've seen what you can. So, like, Caleb Farley falling to the Eagles, yeah, I like that. Devontae Smith falling to the Eagles, like that. Jalen Waddell, like it. Rashad Bateman – like it at number 12 overall. So I think if Devontae Smith can start, can fall, getting number one receiver. It's what Jalen Hurts needs right now is weapons. You got Rashad Bateman falling, like it. He needs weapons. Jalen Waddle falling, like it. Needs weapons. Corner, Greg Newsome, reach. J.C. Horn would like that fit. Uh, Caleb Farley is falling now a little bit on draft boards because of his injury concerns, which is bogus. Again, I just explained why. You got your corner. Uh, and then you also get a first round pick. You have two first rounds next year and you have two second rounds next year. I like it. What more do you want? So you get your first this year. You get two first next year. You like, you're getting good players. Okay. And these picks have potential to be top five picks. Okay. Because teams can do it. Like, with the Dolphins and Larry we all thought Texans was going to be good. They had the Shaw Watts. They had J.D. Watts. Yeah, no, they got the three overall. And look what they did. They flipped all of it. Um, but, yeah. The Eagles, I love this, okay? Because you're rebuilding. You don't want to admit you're rebuilding. Guess what, everybody? The Eagles are rebuilding, okay? it's. It, I'm sorry, Eagles fans. It's true. That is what's happening. You're rebuilding. You get your extra picks. You're getting... Caleb Farley, maybe. A good receiver, maybe. Yeah, what more do you want? Eagles at number six, they could have taken a top wide receiver, a top offensive lineman, Kyle Pitts even, who's a very good player. But instead, they traded back and can still get some of the things that were still they need. So it's a win-win for them. They're getting extra first-round picks. They can still get a position of need right there. And Jalen Hurts uh, can continue on with his offense. New head coach, time to build system. He's already doing things right. So who won the trade? Just as right now, the Dolphins won the trade. We haven't talked about it much, but we will. And we'll get into why in a couple days, why the Dolphins lost this trade. 49ers lost the trade. Dolphins won, 49ers lost. They gave up so much to move up to number three. The Dolphins gave up one of those first round picks to move up with the Eagles. So, obviously, the 49ers were after it. I'm sure lots of teams were. They were just the most aggressive. They saw a quarterback they like. It has to be a quarterback, okay? Like, they don't need to move up Jimmy G now. But next year, absolutely moving off of Jimmy G. It just makes sense. So, the 49ers moved up for a quarterback. I I want to say Trey Lance, but I just think Mac Jones. I, I love Mac Jones to there, Okay. I know this is weird because I'm kind of hating on Mac Jones, even though I'm a Bama fan. I've been kind of hating on Mac Jones because I just didn't buy him. Right system in Kyle Shanahan? Absolutely. So that Trey Lance fault? I don't know. But I get my first full round mock draft on the channel coming up tomorrow. Make sure you all are ready for that. Make sure to like and subscribe. Man, I love this job. I love doing this. I love these YouTube videos. Especially when stuff like this happens, guys. It's stuff. And this, towards the end, right now, me and you just haven't talked. I got some new desk stuff. Get this big owl, uh, kind of bobblehead. It's pretty cool. And then I got a Braves uh, baseball for the new desk uh, stuff. Uh, Dave the Snowman is gone. It's warm in March, so he's going to have to be retired. I know that sucks. Also got a new chair. Uh, it's a really comfortable chair. I'm still getting my desk rearranged. Uh, it's going to have a bunch more stuff on it before the days comes. But I think it looks good for now. Got two helmets, golden football, a Braves baseball, big owl. Yeah, all good. Um... But yeah, I love once this stuff happens. I love talking about this stuff. I love speculating about this stuff. And again, mark your days in history. March 26, 2021. Big, big day right there.
So there, there's the monster trade. Uh, we're going to talk about the Dolphins literally right I'm done recording this. I am recording the Dolphins video right now. It won't be up for a couple days, but it will be recorded. So, um, but again, I just love talking with you guys. I love doing this stuff. This is hopefully my future profession. And I, you know, it really can't do it without you guys. I cannot thank you all enough for the support. And thank you for listening.